those gas prices, we've seen them start at $2 and go all the way up to almost $4. Now, for those of you who use diesel, the prices don't seem to be coming down. KLBK Skylar Soto joins us now to tell us why those prices are still so high. Skylar? Well, it's all about supply and demand, and right now the demand for diesel gas is at a high than it ever was before. Diesel is also a substitute for heating oil, and while it's much more efficient than regular gasoline, the cost to fill up an 18-wheeler or a farm truck will have you spending a pretty penny. Filling up these trucks is not cheap at all. It's about almost 500 each time. Here in Lubbock, diesel fuel is typically going to cost you more than $4 a gallon, and even higher in other cities. We've seen this fall in gasoline prices, this spike in gasoline prices, and now they're coming back down to what we'll call normal again. But diesel is going to take longer to get there because of all these other issues going on. One of those big factors is the ongoing war in Ukraine. 50 percent higher now than it was last year. Here on the South Plains, diesel remains a hot commodity. High diesel prices are bad for farmers, bad for truckers, bad for business, and bad for consumers not bad for oil producers. For one local truck driver, he's feeling the pinch. Diesel prices are actually kind of kicking our butts right now just because of how high it is. So will those diesel prices ever start to tick down? It depends on how cold the winter is going to be this winter because when the winter is colder, you need more diesel to heat homes that use diesel or heating oil to heat homes. I mean, these trucks really take care of America right now. Honestly, truckers, it's it's what we run, kind of run the country right now. Dr. Knoll says here in Texas, we have some of the cheapest gas prices in the entire country compared to places like California. And here in the Lone Star State, diesel is about $4.63, whereas over on the West Coast, diesel is about $6.31, Matt. Scholar, thank you.